the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Then God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number, and feel the earth. The fear and dread of you will fall on all the beasts of the earth and all the birds in the sky, on every creature that moves along the ground and on all the fish in the sea. They are given it to you. The thing that lives and moves will be food for you just as other things have been from you. And how good you have to be. But you must not be free that this is life like feeling in you. And for your life love, we are strong demand an accounting. I will demand an accounting from every animal and from each human being too. I will demand an accounting for the life of another human being. Whoever sheds human blood by human beings, shall their blood be shed. For in the image of God, as God made human kind. As for you, be fruitful and the increase in number, multiply upon the earth, increase upon it. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I now establish my covenant with you, and with your descendants after you, and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock, and all the wild animals, all those that came out of the ark with you, every living creature on earth, I establish my covenant with you. Never again will all of be destroyed by the water of blood. God said, This is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you, a covenant of all generations to come. The eight will be the same of the covenant which will be We will have to bring clouds over the earth and the rain will appear in the clouds. We will remember my covenant between me and you all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all of this. But when another great heart appears in the clouds, you will see the thing So God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all life on the earth. The sons of Noah who came out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was the father of Canaan. These were the three sons of Noah, and from them came the people who were scattered over the whole earth. Noah, a man of the soil, proceeded to plant a vineyard. When he drank some of its wine, he became drunk and lay uncovered inside his tent. Ham, the father of Canaan, saw his father's nakedness and told his two brothers outside. But Shem and Japheth took a garment and made it across their shoulders. Then they walked in backward and covered their father's nakedness. Their faces were turned the other way so that they would not see their father's nakedness. When Noah awoke from his wine and found out what his youngest son had done to him, he said, Cursed be Canaan, the lowest of slaves will he be to his brothers. He also said, Praise be to the Lord, the God of Shem. May Canaan be the slave of Shem. May God extend Japheth's territory. May Japheth live in the tents of Shem. And may Canaan be the slave of Japheth. After the flood, Noah lived 350 years. Noah lived a total of 950 years. 
and then he died. Hey, but I'm excited. I got a new project I want to try out. Get for encouragement, for growth, and edification for all of us. Those who profess themselves to be Christians is to let's read the entire Bible. One chapter at a time from the New Testament. One chapter at a time from the Old Testament. Use the New Testament in the morning and at uh, nighttime use the Old Testament. And incorporate that as part of your prayer. Meaning it just becomes a routine thing with your prayer life. So what I'm going to do is by being an example, let's actually go ahead and do that as well. Use it on YouTube. I recommend you do uh, subscribe so you can be notified when the chapter that you need to read comes up and you can go and keep up with it. Subscribe to the channel. You go to the channel and catch up with the ones that you may have missed. But let's let's get it one day at a time, you know. And what I like to do is I'm excited because I think it's loving because we really do need to read the Bible for ourselves. Everybody that. And I encourage many of you to do that. The reason I'm doing this is because, like I say, it's the title, How to Read the Entire Bible, Read It One Day at a Time with Your Morning Evening Prayer, and use an audio book to help you read and pronounce some of those words, especially when you get to the Old Testament, I'm telling you something else. But also look at this right here. I put down the survey that was done. It was called, how much, it's called LifeWay Research Did It, How Much of Bible Have You Personally Read? And you can see 10% none, 13% only a few sentences. 30% several passages or stories, 50% at least half of it, 12% almost all of it, 11% uh, all of it, and 9% all of it more than once. And the reason I don't want you just to read the Bible, I want you to get it, meditate on it, and get that in your heart and your spirit and get revelation that God gives you. So that's why the intent is for you to read these scriptures because you guarantee you, you will grow in the things of God. And then you'll have to depend on other people to tell you something. And then when you go to church there, when the man said, let's turn to such and such chapter, you can sit and say, I did that. <laughs> I read that chapter. And, and then you can get some more comments on that. So you still understand what the man is trying to teach, but you keep it in content of those scriptures that they come in, amen? Hey, I, I think you'll love it. I think I know you'll love it. I know you enjoy it because we got to change that stat that we just read. All right, so get ready. Go to the chapter that's up for the day. And don't forget to subscribe. And I guarantee you, we'll be able to knock out the New Testament, uh, I think in about seven months. Listen, it's worth it so you can get to know your Bible and know who you are. But what the scripture says who you are is more important than what people say that you are. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you and see you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.